Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, I say it's Mix from the Mix Creation. If it's your first time, please support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you always be updated whenever I upload any video. In today's video, as requested by one of the subscribers, let us talk about driving in Qatar. By the way, do you know the benefits that you are accrued as a driver in Qatar? What is the salary of a driver in Qatar? What is the salary range? How can you get a driver's license? What are the opportunities? All those are going to be talked about in the video. But something that I need to let you know, driving in the Gulf countries, not only in Qatar, is one of the good jobs that you can get. It's one of what we can see the profession. It is much easier for you to get the opportunities. You can always get those opportunities with a good amount of money. Now we are looking at a person who comes on what we call a driver's license. There are two different scenarios that we may talk about or you need to understand. There is someone who is recruited straight from his home country and the work visa is on what we call a driver's license or is going to come as a driver. That one is so different from a person who comes inside the country and he applies for a driving license. Those are two different category of people. So let us try to talk about one by one category you understand so when you come as if you are recruited by a company or a sponsor as a driver you come from your country remember all those things the Qatar ID the medical and the rest getting the driver's license they will be done by your company you will take you for driving license tests uh, glasses tests you will go by the company that means you have a signatory for you to get that driver's license the medical will be done by the company. So accommodation will be provided by the company. And depending on which kind of agreement that you've signed with that company, or how many hours you've signed with that company, then definitely that is, that is the way, uh, one way to go. It's very beautiful. Remember when we are talking about salary, salary is always very attractive for people who have worked as drivers here in Qatar. You find that the salary range will always be beginning from 2,500 up to maximum of 5,000. You just can't imagine. Remember, when you're talking about driving still, don't forget, we have different uh, driving licenses that are being given out in Qatar. We have for the light vehicles, we have for motorcycles, we have licenses for heavyweight vehicles. The forklifters, the trailers, the buses, we know those according to different classes. Remember, the startup driving license for you to have in Qatar here is going to be a motorcycle driving license. Anyone can get a driving uh, license for motorcycle. It's one that is very common because we have very many delivery people that come. Remember, still we can also have the delivery people driving, but still they have driver's license. So that's you being recruited by company. It can be one opportunity or one way for you to come as a driver. Then two, you can come as a driver inside the country, then you apply for what you call a driving license. But remember, for you to apply for a driving license in Qatar, if you are on an individual basis, then you must, if, if you are married, your husband can be your sponsor, you will get a driving license. You can, be, you can be recommended by someone, especially if it is a national, can recommend you to get a driving license. But remember, you will pay up the charges yourself. The driving license fee, the, 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 the test fee, you pay them out yourself. You will go under classes, including the eye test, including uh, uh, sign test, road test, until when you pass them, depending on which kind of appointment you are given, given. Then they recommend you and you'll have a license for yourself. But remember that what I need to let you know, that there's amount of fee that you're being paid if you're going to do on an individual basis. And at that same situation, you are given number of attempts. So that means you have to make sure that you don't follow all the attempts given to you. That in case you get to follow, fail, you get to fail the attempts. That means you'll have to redo the driving test. That is another disadvantage advantage if you are going to do it as a, what we call an individual. Hope I'm trying to share something with you in the same line. Then something that you need to know. If you are going to do it an individual, there's also what you call requirements. There are requirements that you need to have to 
drive or to apply for the driving license here in Qatar. And something still I need to let you know, when we are talking about driving, not all professionals in Qatar are allowed to drive. Not all visa types are allowed to drive in Qatar. For example, if you are recruited as a cleaner, you are not allowed to drive in Qatar. You cannot be even given a driving license. If, for example, you came as a shamba boy, you came as a security guard, there is no way they will give you a driving license. Why? Because why it is made like that, why it is done like that, it is, I think the traffic department, or as the Qatar government itself, was one way to avoid what we call traffic congestion. Because if, for example, they accepted, if, for example, they accepted everyone to have a driving license, many people from Asia, drivers, Many people from Bangladesh are drivers. Many people from parts of Africa, from parts of Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya are drivers. But it is one way to stop what you call the congestion in one world here. Is that there are professions that are not allowed to have what you call driving licenses in one world or the other. So that is one part of way they've tried to ease what you call the traffic congestion in the country. Unless to otherwise, to some extent, you may be recommended or you may be, you have a recommender that will allow you to drive on a different kind of profession that may be approved in what we call, given an, a consideration, what we call an extra consideration in one way or the other, which partially comes it in one way or the other. So you find that in all situations, or you find yourself in all situations, that you cannot have a driving license because your profession or your job does not allow you to have what you call a driving license in that matter. So you'll end up meaning that you either come as a full driver with a company visa or you can apply the driving license by yourself in one way or the other. That is what normally happens. Something that still you need to understand, the salary, the salary is always very good. And there are a lot of driving opportunities around in Qatar. The salary ranges from 2,000 up to around people are getting 5,000 on a salary with the driver. Depending on which kind of which kind of company you are working, that is one. What kind of role, what experience, and what is your driving category? You are driving a lightweight, uh, light vehicle, or you are driving heavy vehicle. That is also different types. We also look at, are you working for the company? You are working as an individual? Because there are a lot of driving opportunities. We look at limousine cars. We look at limousine companies. We look at private companies. We look at government companies. We look at special entities. All these come, in fact, they come in a kind of situation that you, it, 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 it shows you that the job, or the, op the job opportunities available are quite very many in one way or the other, that you can have those opportunities to do in one way or the other. So meaning that you have a wide range to choose from when you come to a driver. There are a lot of, we have domestic, uh, we have house drivers, that those are also opportunities as a driver. And when you come as a driver, definitely something that you need to know, you learn how to drive different types of cars. That is also another opportunity in one way or the other. Although it may not belong to you as a person, but you learn. But still something that you also need to know, that if you have a driver's license, you can buy your own car. Yes, you can buy your own, your own car. I've seen people who have driving license, but they have their own car. And yet some cars in Qatar here are not that very expensive. You can access a car of 3,000. Someone is selling a car of 4,000, which in your country may be even more than that. So meaning that you can access it in any way or the other. That is what he's called. For someone to ask about driving. So remember, something that I still you need to understand or something that you need to know. When you have to have a dri li uh, driving here, you need to have what you call, if you are going to have a driving license as an individual, you need to get what you call requirements. There are some requirements for you to have what you call driving license in Qatar. And some of these requirements include you must have what you call a legal age. For you to drive in Qatar, you must have a legal age that is allowed to drive. For the age that is allowed to drive in Qatar, you must be 18 years for light vehicles. If you are 18 years and above, you can drive in Qatar if you are driving what you call light vehicles. And if you are 20 years and above, you can drive what you call 
heavy, you can try to dry, you can apply for license for what you call heavy weight vehicles like the forklifters, the buses, uh, all those categories that are being mentioned in that way or the other. Then something still you need to have is what you need to have what you call a residence permit. It's one of the requirements when you're going to apply for an, a, a, a driving license in Qatar as an individual. You must have what you call you must have what you call a CATA ID or a residence permit. Then also you must have what you call a passport copy, a valid passport copy, which has, a, which has more than six months before it's expired. Then also something that you need to understand, you need to have what you call a copy of the ID of your sponsor. This is where things come in very tricky. Right? That I told you, you can have a resident, you have a, have a national that is going to recommend you. Normally, these are Qataris or these are nationals of the citizens of the country. They want to recommend you. But before you think of being recommended in one way or the other, that person needs to give you an attachment on the document as are required. This person needs to attach what you call his ID to show proof that is person that is recommending you to have what you call a driving. Then also you need to have what you call a letter of approval from your sponsor. That is where the driving part of it all now comes in a little bit difficult and very, 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 very difficult people to access because all these documents must be assessed, must be attacked before they can be approved in one way or the other. So that letter of a sponsor should be attached if you are renewing, if you want to apply for a driving license. Meaning that you are getting what you call the approval. Then still something that you need to know, you should have three recent colored photos to be attached on your document. That should really portray you as the person. Then also, something that you need to remember, that there are some professions that are not allowed to drive. They are not allowed to apply for driving license. By the way, something that you need to note, much as you know how to drive, much as you may not know how you may know to drive from your country, from wherever, so long as you are not allowed to have a driving license, it's also prohibited to drive a car. It's also prohibited to, to step in a car, sit on a steering wheel because it is punishable by law, and you definitely get a fine. That is what you need to understand. So meaning that, Carefully, in one way or the other, you need to be a little bit very careful. You need to be very careful to save yourself. So, hope I've tried to share for people who are coming with the driving. If you have an opportunity to come as a driver, come. There are a lot of opportunities and salaries are very good. Yes, I told the salary ranging from uh, 2,500 to a maximum of 5,000. And the opportunities are very many. We have very many companies, the school bus, we have hospitals, we have catering companies, we have hotels, we have warehouses. All these are areas where they need drivers every single day. So it's you having what you call a driving license. If, for example, they are recruiting locally or within the country, you're supposed to have what you call a driving license for you to access these opportunities. Or in case you are changing from one job to another, then you can have what you call a uh, no objection certificate. And something that you need to remember that the driving, what you call the driving, what you call the driving is that driving is very good, is that it is very easier to change job from one job to another. That is the, the good, the other part of it all. So hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to put a comment in the comment section. I'll always be very important and glad to get back to you. If it's your first time to come across this channel, support this channel by subscribing. By the way, do not forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation.